Team, welcome to 1.23. Man, look at that sky. Look at that sky. I mean, it looks like a sky. Isn't that something? Um, I don't think I've got a beard. I didn't used to have a beard. Um, I've buried my stash. I don't think anything else has changed. I still look the same. Everything else looks the same. We want to go this way. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> I heard a lot of talk about the sky, but yeah, it, it is, it is impressive. Um, it is impressive. So I guess we'll, um, we'll, we'll see. So, let's talk about what we're doing. So, I kind of possibly alluded to what I'm doing, or what I propose to do, if I can get out of the rain, where it's quite noisy. Um, <clears throat> so, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and do what we sort of did in Tarnel, but in Sitnik. Now, that, that may be a little bit riskier. Um, because Sitnik is possibly a little more traveled. I'm not 100% sure, um, but I will certainly give it a go, um, and that is the point. So I'm just going to check my bearings. So we've just come down from Lucal, and, um, and we're just across the edge of the field. And I think I just, I don't want to go across country, so I'm just going to stick to the, stick to the tree line, I think. For now, um, yeah. So the idea is that we will um, head down to Sitnik and and try and do the same thing. We will barricade off the bottom floor so people can't get in. Depending on how accessible the rear of the tower block is at Sitnik, certainly the one I saw anyway, um, we may have to do some additional work on that. Um, we may not. I can't be 100% sure, um, but we we will we will have a look at that. And um, and once we've done that, then um, I think what we need to do is we need to he head out and around from there <coughs> to Nadebor and also to probably Svarog and a bunch of other places and start thinking about gearing up with things like explosives and grenades and also in terms of trying to get um, the the key card to the bunker right remember the bunker remember the bunker yeah so we still want to see if we can get a key card now I understand to get a key card you can only get them off military Zs and some very specific ones so we might have to do things like go into Svarog and actually start bumping them off it's not just a case of sneaking around we're actually going to have to start bumping them off so that's that's a plan and then we're sort of playing it by ear to see where people are likely to build um, if this server is like the other server uh, to Poland is probably a prime candidate and a few others that we know of so yeah so there'll be a bit of running around in the beginning of this season which is now season four hello welcome to season four while we get used to a new server and a new gameplay and a new dynamic while we um, build our base and secure ourselves and do what we need to do so and and we'll see what you know what bugs and glitches and various things potentially crop up so that's what my intention is for now um, and this is probably not very interesting other than the sky which you have seen so when the sky changes or anything magical or tragical happens I shall probably call you in again but for now it's really just tromping across Livonia and you've seen that a lot so ta-ta for now I'll see you soon <clears throat> 
So the rain, the rain is over, and this is this is another one of the sky effect. This is good. This is this this is a good sky effect. Um, I mean, you, you still, if you look at it a long time, you still obviously see that it's just a static picture moving, um, which is, you know, the clouds don't change in any way, um, and that's a bit of a giveaway. But you know, it, compared to what it was, and the colors are so much better, um, and it's obviously going into night time. Um, I don't know what the story with the sun is. It's just this. It's kind of yellow haze, and I guess, in part, it's gone behind the horizon. I did know that they said earlier on in the testing that the sun and the moon were not behaving properly. Um, whatever that meant. Um, so, so I don't, I don't fully know what that means. And um, what are we on? The red route. <clears throat> and um, and I don't know if they've resolved that. I I assume they've resolved it. Um, so I don't know. I'll, I'll see, I'll see when the moon comes out. I'm going to try and keep going through the night to see what the night sky looks like, albeit it doesn't always end up being good viewing for you. So yeah, so there we go. We're still trudging along. Just brought you in to have a look at lovely color. Very nice color. Anyway, see you in a bit. <clears throat> look at this haze. Look at this sort of hazy mist. I um, I don't remember seeing this hazy mist before. I think you remember in one of my videos I talked about it and said they'd mentioned about this haze that they had or this haze that they were bringing in. Um, and, and it's it's um, it's to simulate the effects of long distance on the eye. Obviously, um, because air is not 100% transparent, it's got all kinds of things in it. So, yeah, it's very interesting. You got this interesting colored sky happening over here. So, yeah, the visuals. It's definitely all about the visuals right now. All about the visuals. There's the dipper. Isn't it good? It's good. It's it's good to see that level of detail, you know, that they put in constellations. Previously it was just like unknown stars glittering overhead. You can have a look and if you know your constellations, you can go and have a look at your constellations, eh? Yeah. Good. Good, good. I'm impressed. Oh, there's dawn. This The sun looks fine to me. It's like a, a lovely dawn, lovely, nice day. Yeah. We're nearly there, nearly at Sitnik. Just following these down, we'll be there soon. You're a team, we are in Sitnik. This is the block of flats overlooking the um, industrial sort of area, industrial farm area. Um, and there's some Zeds walking around. You can hear some Zeds mucking about. Around and about. Um, we got a base. Look at that. Look at that. We're inside a room in a tower block with a gate and some stuff, which is great, fantastic. Um, I I opted to start here rather than the top floor because I think it's going to take us a little while to get um, all of the stuff together to do what I want to do. Um, because in part this is not a single tower block so this is one of those double tower blocks which means it has it has at least two access points um really three because it has the ground floor um which has um the uh, climb in the window through the side option and come in through the side door and it has the bottom door and this one also has the top door um, who doesn't like that which is um, which is obviously they can go into the uh, block of flats next door go all the way up the top climb across walk across the roof come back down kind of a thing so realistic realistically speaking if you wanted to be able to close it off um 
you're going to need at least another two gates and well no one gate and two fences um i i mean i can probably do that i've got enough wire for a gate and i've got a code lock um it might be touch and go with the saws no i think it'll probably be all right actually with saws this one's looking a bit damaged i've already worn one out um we have 18 planks sitting on the ground there attached to this gate which is enough for one more gate um and then we would have uh have to do some more i i, I don't want to telegraph my presence too much too early is maybe the only thing i'd say we're in a side room in a tower block so i didn't go all the way to the top because I have a feeling people might run all the way to the top to see if someone has put anything in the top or run all the way to the top because they want to climb up to the top of the building and have a look outside. And in so doing, my presence might be revealed. So at the minute, I'm I'm hoping clandestine might be where it's at. So I think what I might need to do is or what I might do, I don't need to, what I might do is I might go for a little nosy around Sitnik and get to learn the lie of the place. Um, I knew Tarnow quite well by the end of it. I knew my way around Tarnow because I'd been around it in the daylight and the darkness and the rain and the sun and the everything else together. Um, I don't really know my way around Sitnik so very well. I say that just as I was leaving Tarnow was when I found the pile of uh, planks, right? So anyway um so i did have a look at sitnik the last time i was here and i didn't see planks and i made a point of looking like i think i looked all the way over there and there's lots of um pallet pallet crates and things over there but there's not actually anywhere to get wood planks per se i don't think um so I'm fairly certain that's the situation here, but it's worth going and having a nosy anyway. So, you know, we're in and we're safe. We've, we've got our place, we've got our thing. Um, obviously after having a nosy around Sitnik as well, I really need to head all the way back to Lukau and, um, and grab my crate that has my um, two combat weapons in it. Um, I don't think anyone's going to find them by mistake. Um, I just need to go and get them. And in here, I have uh, my pumpkin head and I have some uh, build supplies. I've managed to bring all my ghillie and a couple of spare combat supplies. And I've got some more build supplies. So, yeah, we, we're, we're set up and we're ready to go. I don't need to bring that with me now. <clears throat> and, um, and we've got a start. We're off to a start. We're off to a start. And that took... Uh, I want to say that took like uh, nearly three hours. So that took nearly three hours to make my way across country in the dark, which was challenging. It's quite dark. And then I had to get here and I had to go out to the woods and I had to bring stuff back and go out to the woods and bring stuff back and so on and so forth um, until I'd built um, this thing, which is fine. Now I have built this thing. I am happy. We are somewhere. We have somewhere safe for now and you know all of the hazards that go along with tower block living but um yeah here we go new place sitnik and we can you know we can stand here and watch what's going on at the back and these two having a little conversation about madness life the universe and everything um you know and if we see anybody running around then we'll see people running around which will be quite interesting um yeah there you go we got a we got a nice view of the road as well on this side um and obviously if we go out the other side we've got a view of medical and we've got a view of the hunting store and um i don't think you can quite see the water from this side you might be able to see it from the other side ah anyway there you go that's sitnik this is our base in sitnik um for as long as it lasts and um, and we'll see how we do. And obviously, as we go around Sitnik, if we find metal, we can replace these with metal. There's still a little bit of contention as to whether metal is actually better than wood. Um, 
as I've said before, the information I get mostly on technical stuff is from Wobo, and um, he reckons that it takes one more grenade um, for a metal wall than it does for a wooden wall, um, and and I'm prepared to take his word for it. Um, yeah, uh, so there you go. And when we get metal, we can um, we can replace the wood with metal, and um, and that'll be that, and it'll be a little bit stronger possibly, and maybe. Maybe other people also think what I think and then go, oh, no, not metal, man. That's too tough. Um, and and walk away. And if we can get two or three metal walls and metal gates, like I said, layers of defenses, layers of defenses, layers of defenses. So there you are. And there we are. And this is 1.23. And that is the lovely 1.23 sky that we're looking at on a lovely sunny day, drifting around. Um as everyone says you know it, it doesn't drift east to west anymore it spirals around the middle um i don't know what happens if you're standing in the middle what do you see it just all spiraling around you i guess you do um so yeah there you go daisy 1.23 season four um off to a cracking little start isn't it so um yeah i'll um i'll get myself sorted and do a few bits and pieces and i'll i'll bring you back in when um when we've made some progress see you soon guess what guess what guess what look timber pile how nice timber pile hello again hello again well i i went around sitting in the evening and and night um and obviously you saw that I found that there's a timber pile right down there, which is great. Um, that's going to help us with building an awful lot. Awful lot of Zeds around here, um, which is fine. And um, and up in the town, there's there's quite a lot of buildings, quite a lot of buildings, quite a lot of outbuildings. Um, not... Not so many Zeds. There's a little um, military roadblock tent down there with nothing in it, some ammo and stuff. Um, nothing strange, startling, fascinating, or exciting, I'm afraid. Um, just houses and outbuildings, and there's some, like an old wreck yard and some engineering shops and things and, and all the rest of it. There's some uh, metal out there, but, uh, but not a lot. Um, but I, I did get sidetracked by other things um, while I was running around, which is, which is, two barrels and a car tent <laughs> i don't know what i'm gonna do with a car tent it's in fantastic condition i couldn't turn it down but I, what am i gonna do with it and don't say put it on the roof because if you put it on the roof then everyone sees you from miles around and goes ah oh, there's a base over there let's go have a look eh um yeah and there's, there's i don't think there's any rooms big enough inside the building to actually contain the completely um opened up tent but look i've got one <laughs> i've got one and i've got i've got one barrel in good condition and another barrel in good condition um yeah that was fun getting them here was was just a whole barrel of laughs oh, oh, oh did you get it barrel of... never mind um this one's empty this one is uh all of all of my um all of my build gear in it down here down here there you are barrel barrel all of my build gear in my barrel uh picked up another saw picked up a couple more uh sharpening stones which would be pretty good because i can sharpen all the saws and i can use that to get all of the planks that i need for all of the walls that i need and various other bits and pieces and um and i've got hatchets for and a felling axe for all of the logs that i need and a hammer for all of the everything else that I need, and I have uh, picked up a couple of full gas cylinders. Uh, I thought they were supposed to spawn um, like mostly empty or something. Maybe I'm mis mistaken that, but I thought one of the updates was that they were spawning the gas canisters with less gas in them or something. M maybe I'm thinking of gasoline, um, as in the jerry cans, which are spawning in with less gasoline, as opposed to the gas canisters spawning in with less gas. Um, maybe. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, gas is good. I didn't get any frying pans or cooking pots, which is a bit of a surprise. Um, but never mind. And, um, and I've got my military gear. So, um, 
so we're sort of we're sort of all a bit set here for now um i think i'm sort of in two minds now do i build or do i go and get my stuff i mean i think given that it's daytime i don't like building in daytime um because it's it's incredibly risky people are running around a lot in daytime i find people tend to not run around so much in the dark which is fine by me because i tend to run around in the dark um because it's quiet and i can get things done without worry about people sniping you from a distance. So I think what I need to do is, um, I've just eaten all my food, so I don't actually have any more food left. This is completely empty. Um, and um, and I, I do have a full uh, a full jerry can, of, well, almost almost full jerry can, almost full, full canteen of water. Um, so I think what I probably need to do is I probably need to hit the road jack and, um, head back to outside Lucao and I can hear a chicken outside um, and pick up some food along the way whether it's chickens or whatever and um, and what I might do is I might do a quick swing by Graben to see if there's any base building going on the tower blocks in Graben and swing by Tarnow and do the same and see if there's any base building going on in Tarnow yet um, bearing in mind that it's only been not even 24 hours since the since the patch dropped, um, but there you go. <clears throat> and um, and yeah, yeah, start um, start seeing if anything's going on. Get some food. Get my mil get my um, assault rifle and my um, is it VSS whatever it is uh, back here and um, and get them to my base and then maybe after that. We'll do a little bit more base building before we head off and check out the castle at Petro. And um, we can always... Well, I'd say swing by Lemborg and Borek. Um, but there's never anything there. <laughs> so maybe, maybe we just head straight to... Uh, like... Uh, Geraldo Nadebor Svarog way after that, but that's getting way ahead of ourselves, way ahead of ourselves. So let's let's go and um, go and get the things we need to get from outside Lucao and get them back here first. That's that's probably like a five hour round trip <laughs> or something. Um, it's going to be a bit of a slog. So. Um, so yeah, uh, what I think I'll do is I'll cut this one short because lots of people are keen to see the marvelous, marvelous sky out there and all of the things that are going on. No moon yet. I haven't seen a moon yet. Um, so I haven't seen the moon yet. But um, we've definitely seen the sky and we've definitely seen what's going on with the sky. So um, yeah, so there you go. L let me know your thoughts, findings, feelings, what's going on with you. Um, have have any of you gone out to Chinaris, done the NWAF? What's it like? Are you enjoying it or not enjoying it? Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. Um, yeah, let me know. Well, I hope you're enjoying it. I'm glad we're off to we're off. To, I feel like we're off to a, a tidy start. I say that I'm tempted. Like I said, tempting fate. We're off to a pretty tidy start. I feel we've got some stuff. We've got a wall at least. We need to get more than one. Multiple layers of defense. Multiple layers of defense. Um, and um and and we've got to sort ourselves sort ourselves out and i might even i might even do another wall before before i go out to lucao just because of my paranoia although i don't know exactly where i would put it to try and save this maybe i can put it in the hall i'll have a look and see um yeah drop us a like do subscribe click the bell notification so you know when the next one in series four is coming along and I will see you all in the bright and breezy sunshine very, very soon. Ta-ta for now. PlayStation.